Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo Asper of the Society of St. Paul for PCNE4. Faith proves stronger than whatever storms may come, that even the midst of the tropical storm Goryeo have gathered almost 6,500 delegates or participants for the fourth Philippine Conference on the New Evangelization, last July 28 to 30, 2017, at the Royal and Pontifical University of Santo Tomas, Quadricentennial Pavilion, España, Manila truly a testimony of our communion in faith. The PCNE4 conference pondered on the theme of One Heart and Soul in view of the Philippine local church's celebration of the year of parish as a communion of communities. In his homily in the Misa ng Bayon on the first day of the conference, Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle reminded the faithful to be childlike in God's kingdom, humbly recognizing our need for communion with God with others and with the rest of creation. Inspiring testimonies of communion with Jesus and with others were heard from various sectors of society. Actors Ding Dong Dantes, Alden Richards and Dimple Sermana, Medical Mission Sister Mary Jane Caspilio, MMS, Zamboanga Couples for Christ Head, Rodito Mahinay, Co-Director of Focolari Movement Philippines, Delia Dalisay, Archbishop Rino Fisichella, President of the Pontifical Council for Promoting the New Evangelization, led the reflection on being Christian in the age of indifference after the witness of the first disciples united in prayer, sharing, teaching, breaking of the bread, and a life of simplicity. Archbishop Bernardito Auza, Apostolic Nuncio and Permanent Observer of the Holy See to the United Nations, shared on the role of the Church in the community of nations, as missionaries of mercy, especially to the marginalized and the excluded, refugees and forced migrants, victims of human trafficking, the poor and defenders of life, marriage and family. To deepen the communion encounter of the delegates and participants, tracks, sessions and workshops were held in the afternoon of the conference. The speakers of the first day of the conference included Dr. Natividad Pagadu, who shared on the biblical roots of the spiritual gift communion, Sister Mary John Mananzan OSB on the spiritual gift creation, Mr. and Mrs. Hermelo Villaroman Jr. on family spirituality, Dr. Ruben Mendoza on the Eucharist and the religious other, building a communion of communities, Father Christian Buenafe Ocarm on new media evangelization, Frere Gisnei Mazur on communion in song and prayer, Bishop Pablo Virgilio David on the Church as a Communion of Communities, Father Renan Michael Laguardia SDB on the Spirituality of Communion in the Academe, Father Henry Lozano MOP on Social Justice, Bukal ng Tipan Spirituality Center on Life, Love, and Relationships. Sessions and workshops continued on the second day of the conference and were facilitated by Bonsignor Pedro Gerardo Santos, who spoke on forming social conscience, the ground and fruit of communion, Rodney Galica on pastoral principles of Laudato Si, Lidia Villa Cruzis on pastoral issues and responses to single parenting, Philip Jose Hernandez on social media that leads to communion, Bo Sanchez on building a community of faith, the feast experience, Cardinal Orlando Quevedo, OMI, on parishes and communities in missionary transformation. Father Alberto Alejo, SJ, on Capua and Lob, the Filipino concept of communion and solidarity. Dr. Pilar Romero on the common mission of the school and the parish. Guadalupe Isidro on campus ministry as a Galilee experience. Father Earl Alan Cura, CICM, on roof and selfie, an interplay between solidarity and individuality. Father Edwin Garigues on the prophetic witness of the Church, and Carol Daria on being Jesus with the families of Tokam victims. Father Renato de Guzman, SDB, spoke on the needed changes in today's catechesis and religious instructions in schools. 
Attorney Jose Tale on the Vocation of Family in the Light of the Third Chapter of Almoris Laetitia, Femus Grave and Clarissa Martinez on the Filipino Experience of Ministering to the Church in America, Bishop Ruperto Santos on Social Conditions of Migrants and Our Christian Response, Father Roy Belian and Mr. Edwin Lopez on Harnessing the Influence of New Media for Church Advocates, Fondasho Asia on the Dynamics of a Missionary Life, Eleanor Dionisio on Religion and Politics, Finding Common Ground for Common Good, Dr. Donna Pasarias on A Holistic School Approach to Communion with Nature, Dr. Carlos Garcia on School Community as Missionaries of Evangelization, Father Jose Alain Manalo on the Successes and Challenges of School Parish Collaboration, Father Luciano Feloni on Human Dignity in the Life of the Church and Society, and Father Roman Makaiba on Communing with Our Tribal Roots. The delegates and participants of the conference were delighted by performances from the SRO Music Ministry, The Nightingales, USD Salingawi Dance Troupe, Teatro Tomasino, Sisters of Mary Schools Philippines, Rondalia and Handbells, the Vicariate of Espiritu Santo Youth Ministry. Parishioners from St. Peter Alcantara, Paki Laguna, led the assembly in the festive Turumba dance. This was followed by the solemn procession in honor of Our Lady of Fatima. The Malolos Choir Orchestra and Malolos Orchestra also served in the Eucharistic celebrations. An art exhibit on the refugees, migrants, and mitres of Manila and the tapestry work of the Philippine Royal Rumble or the Nanes of Payatas were featured at the USD Pavilion. Books, articles, and other religious spiritual merchandises were made available at the side of the USD Quadricentennial Pavilion. The three-day conference was capped off with a synthesis presented by Cardinal Tagli, followed by a Eucharistic celebration with the commissioning of catechists presided over by Archbishop Fisichella with stories on Jesus pacifying the storms in the Bible. So we remain in Him, fervent in our faith and hopeful with one heart and soul.